so welcome back to my channel Adam's Adventures and today I'm in Langshaw Estate or Longshaw Estate for National Trust Place and today I'm going for my first hike of the year still feel a bit wintry but seems like spring is coming close so here I've decided to go to Peak District this time. First hike of the year, and it won't be my last. But the main thing is, is that I'm limiting my walks. Because I, I have a fair few holidays coming up, which will be beginning of May now. July and October so I'm kind of limiting what I can do still will go out for another a few more walks in between them all right so here we go oh, you know what I just I mean it's very hard to see on the GoPro but you can see where points are those rocky points there absolutely stunning so I always want to go to Padley Gorge it was on my list for some time just never got quite around doing it I'm currently using the uh, chest harness for the camera <laughs> so you see a bit more low down shots but Padley Gorge will be more woodland area, a little steep valley heading towards Grindleford, I think. Grindleford. So it's like a little village. Stop by there, grab something to eat, and then head on my way to an older disused quarry, which will be quite a fascinating to see. But I'm glad that I'm out and about now. So, as you can see here, I won't go on the grass, but it's a disused quarry wheel back in the 1800s, probably more likely 1700s as well. So, I'm looking forward to three holidays, as I mentioned. One will be in Scotland. Uh, me and my uh, friend decided to jokingly about <laughs> climbing Ben Nevis and I'm officially going to do it but it's really it's really unprepared this time round but I have got some uh, walking sticks to help me up there so I've got some spare ones for my friend we, we were just jokingly deciding to say oh let's just climb this mountain or let's climb that mountain and then we ended up being Ben Nevis it's like I've never done done it before so that's my real surprise of the bunch in May uh, as well as that going around looking at sky for a couple of days Loch Ness which I've never seen you know there'll be a bit more beauty spots there than whatever else I can try and find up <laughs> and I haven't been to Scotland in four years so it'll be a hopefully weather pans out and really is awesome because the last time I went was uh, I think it was June and it ended up being a heat wave back in 2019 And it was absolutely glorious all the way through. Got a bit of sunburnt like, but it was worth it. I'm finally going to accept it and say, yeah, let's do it. Let's go to Ben Nevis, conquer that. And it'll probably be my last ever to start from zero metres, work your way up to, what, 1,300 metres, 
1345 meters I believe but we're gonna take our time with that because I'm going well unprepared unplanned I never really concentrated that much on it but it is a, a little I could say it's a little short break so I'm glad I'm actually doing it I'm looking forward to it so is my friend so we'll be uh, conquering Scotland for a bit you know what parts of like this of the larger states I love is these old pillars just love it like this used to be a gate of some sort I mean you'll see it in a minute you'll see some here there's some holes here gate hatch you know so the national trust owns most of this land now took up cycling again so it improves the stamina so it improves the energy when you're gonna do higher hills higher peaks you know so I've always in into uh, cycling I've seen a lot of cycling videos where they cycle along cliffs edges and just awkwardness places seems great fun I'd love to do that one day but this year it's going to be a bit different this year I'm planning on aboard holidays and that's what I've chosen but the theme still sticks around on one of them so the other holiday is going to be Switzerland now I looked into it for some years now for a good couple years I've seen the Alps I was like blimey this this looks really like more fan you know my sort of area again you know up in the mountainous ranges uh, beautiful villages you name it lakes just superb and uh, well yeah I mean <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, a video on it of some someone travelling and I thought oh blimey this looks really really you know fantastic you know you've got to experience it so I've decided in July that I'm going to Switzerland going to see the Alps mostly the notoriously hiking spot but it'll be absolutely fantastic region where I'm going to and hopefully again the weather because you never know with the weather these days but it will be in the summer so hopefully at least get five glorious days out uh, the difference with Switzerland though is that you have all these lifts like chair lifts gondolier lifts you know the transport system up there is superb much better than this country no, that is a touristy more based but I can actually take a say a gondolier lift up to a certain peak point and then you can just hike above so that's why I'm trying to improve my cycling so I try and improve my cycling skills get a bit more leg workout as well as high stamina so I'm not struggling because some days I feel like oh, I will struggle but there'll be a continuously ongoing process so I'm one week there will be enough first time looking forward to it you know I'm actually I, I love the mountains I think the mountains are the most extraordinary pieces of artwork really how the formations are and anything else it just it's interesting 
but the Alps has always been in my you know head for the last couple of years now and I've decided yes this has to be done <laughs> you know you have to enjoy yourself before it's too late kind of thing so that'll be my uh, major holiday I guess yeah I'm just looking forward to the mount you can do there as well very expensive I'm not gonna lie but sometimes well what's the point saving <laughs> you know you, you you keep saving but you're never gonna use your money so you know just enjoy your life before it's too late that's why I say to anyone nowadays like today I've come out first time uh, never been here before that's why I'm doing a bit of a longer stretch here it seems like <laughs> but um, I um, actually can't wait for the Switzerland holiday looking forward to that one and then Scotland funny enough but Scotland at least yes I have to admit I've got to do Ben Nevis my other holiday for this year it's a bit more calmer a bit more cooler really and that will be Greece on the island of Corfu to be exact I chose October reason why being there uh, well took the cheapest bloody ticket <laughs> you know I just wanted a relaxation because if I'm doing Scotland and Switzerland, that's two major holidays. It's a lot of traveling, especially Scotland more. In Switzerland, I'm not really gonna be traveling by car. Take some you know, public transport there. So I thought to myself, ah, just in, you do need a bit of a chill out vacation really. But I'll still be quite busy in between as well. In the first summer, hopefully, so fingers crossed. But yeah, going back to Greece, uh, there will be some formality of uh, what I've chose. Corfu is the history of the island. A couple forts there that I like to see. Probably a couple museums, and then the rest. I oh, just make it as it goes along. But I need that relaxation. You know, everyone does.
Thank you for watching this video on me vlogging in the heart of the Peak District at Longshore State. Hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned for some mega ventures in the near future.